Next gen parts might be cancelled, Nvidia has a big reveal for CES, and you might want to be careful if you're looking at one of these GPUs. Let's talk about it. Alright, so let's start off by talking about AMD because it looks like if you're interested in buying a 7900 XT or XTX, well, you might want to be careful about who you purchase it from as yes, you could purchase the wrong one and be, well, pretty much SOL. Now, what exactly am I talking about? Well, there was an article posted over on WCCF Tech recently, which went over a major issue that certain 7900 XTXs are having. Now, depending on the way you look at it, it might not be a major issue, but for this user, it definitely was as it looks like their 7900 XTX was hitting 110 degrees Celsius on the junction temperature and to make matters worse not only was the GPU running very hot but on top of that it looks like it was potentially affecting the performance and the fan speeds were ramping way up and this is not the only post or thing I've heard said about the 7900 XTX when it comes to at least the reference models potentially running really hot on certain models now whether or not this is gonna be something that only only affects a certain amount of them that went out or if it affects all of them is yet to be known however according to AMD apparently this is normal behavior as if we take a look at the article we can see a post from the user who said quote hi everyone as we know so far quite many people have problems with the reference 7900 XTX cards reaching 110 junction temps 100% fan speed and still losing performance due overclocking I just got the reply of my RMA request and then apparently AMD said quote Thank you for your email. The temperatures are normal. If there is any issue, please contact us back. Thanks for contacting AMD. So there you have it. Apparently AMD believes that 110 degrees for your junction temperature is normal and well, depending on how they design the GPU, that definitely could be the case. Although I will tell you this, personally, I have never owned a GPU that does hit over 100 degrees Celsius on the junction temperatures. Now I've seen it on maybe some memory on certain models of the RTX 3080, 3080 Ti and 3090 especially. However, I have never seen those those type of temperatures on the course so for me personally I would definitely classify this one as a little bit abnormal to say the least especially considering that these users are reporting that their fan speeds are ramping way way up and they're also potentially losing performance as well because of down clocking so if this is indeed the way the AMD designed their reference cards and this is normal behavior to see down clocking really high fan speeds as well as very very high temperatures on those junction temps well then I would go ahead and say this this is yet another reason to avoid the reference model when it comes to the RX 7000 series. Now I've been saying for a while I probably wouldn't buy the reference model as it does seem like there were a number of things about it that I didn't really like, especially when it came to overclocking. However, this is again another reason that I would definitely be avoiding these cards and certainly I would not want to buy it from AMD.com as it seems like, at least according to these posts, that their RMA process is also not the greatest. But now it's time to talk about C CES because yes, NVIDIA will be at CES and apparently they're going to be revealing some very, very big stuff for gamers. So definitely you'll want to stay tuned. And if I can't be there in person, I will be streaming the event. So keep an eye on your subscriptions and watch out for a live stream notification as I likely will be live streaming it before I'm actually there live at CES, which I will be doing as well. So make sure you're subscribed for both of those. But yes, it looks like NVIDIA could be revealing some new GPUs during this event. And according to a videocards.com article, Here's what they had to say about it. Quote, according to what we know, the event will primarily focus on GeForce RTX 40 mobile graphics. This includes RTX 4090, 4080, 4070, and possibly the mid-range series as well. Just today, there was a leak confirming the specs of the RTX 4080 laptop GPU series. Furthermore, NVIDIA is to reintroduce the desktop GeForce RTX 4070 Ti graphics card. This is the same card that was canceled as RTX 4080 12 gigabyte around two months ago. And if you want to know when it's happening, well, you can see here right on screen that it's apparently going to be occurring on January 3rd at 8 a.m. Pacific time. So make sure that you mark your calendars as again, I will likely be live streaming it. So yeah, very, very exciting stuff. Can't wait to see what they have on the mobile side. Uh, 4070 Ti, yeah, that's great. It's going to be reintroduced. However, I'm actually very concerned about what the price will be because if it's still $900, that's going to be a big L. So who knows? Maybe we'll get lucky and it will be like $700 or less. But either way, you slide 
slice it, it's probably going to be very, very expensive. And honestly, I'm starting to get a little bit more interested in what they're going to be doing with like the 4070, the 4060, the 4060 Ti, and see if they can be more competitive with those cards, and also to see what they can push in terms of maximum performance with stuff like the RTX 4090 Ti. But now it's time to move on to the big story, because yes, some next-gen parts on the PC could actually end up getting cancelled if these leaks and rumors are to be believed. Now, this is definitely some huge news, so if you're looking forward to upgrading to some next-gen parts, you'll definitely want to pay attention as this could have some serious consequences on what your next build could end up looking like, and I was definitely very shocked to see this headline, and I'll have to give you guys my thoughts on whether or not I believe it's going to be true, but first, let's go ahead and take a look at what was said here. Now, this comes from a WCCF Tech article once again, where they say, quote, Intel Meteor Lake S desktop CPUs rumored to be canceled. LGA 1851 might support trio of core families. So that is very, very interesting. Apparently, this information originates from one Raichu over on Twitter who has leaked a number of things in the past, and he said, quote, Quote, Meteor Lake S seems to be canceled and this is very very shocking news to me guys because yeah I was definitely expecting this thing to be coming out in a timely manner as I do have a few inside sources at Intel and when I last spoke to them it was starting to sound like their next generation processors were going to be an absolute banger but then as we started to get a little bit further along I was starting to hear some worrying stuff and definitely on the unofficial leak side of things there was some really bizarre stuff being talked about when it came to their next generation of CPUs. So if you are looking forward to upgrading to some Meteor Lake S processors, it looks like we could be getting faced with yet another refresh once again instead. And honestly, guys, from my perspective, if this does indeed mean that like we're going to have to move to a whole new motherboard and then we're just going to be getting a refresh of our current processors, I really don't see how it's going to be worth it to move to a whole new motherboard when our Raptor Lake processors are already so good. I think I'd be more willing to to move to a new board if it was a major redesign of the CPU with some major performance uplifts, but if we're talking about another refresh, yeah, that's going to be a hard sell to me and a lot of other people, so hopefully they can get these things out, but yeah, if this leak is to be believed, which honestly, guys, if I was to give you my thoughts on it, after hearing some more stuff recently, it sounds like that definitely could end up happening where it gets pushed off or even potentially cancelled. Yeah, that's not going to be good news for people who are excited for those next generation of Intel CPUs. And I think, again, you're probably going to be better off just hanging on to your Alder Lake or Raptor Lake CPUs if you have some right now, rather than spending it on a new board and then not getting a major performance uplift. But hey, that's just what I think. What do you think NVIDIA will be revealing during their CES event? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA release new GPUs. Also, if you want to see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.